Hi, I'm Bob Kovacs, and a couple years ago, my wife and I hired a contractor to install an elaborate photovoltaic system on our home in the Blue Ridge Mountains in Virginia. A number of people have asked me over the years to get a tour of the system, and our house is kind of inconveniently in the woods, so there's no easy way to get a tour. So I thought I'd make a short video giving a tour of our system. So this is our roughly four kilowatt photovoltaic system. It consists of 18 photovoltaic panels on the roof of our home in the Blue Ridge Mountains in Virginia. Go ahead and take a look. This is my house in the rural Blue Ridge Mountains. It's really quite rural out here and the house almost looks as if it's dropped right into the middle of the forest. There is forest all around it and you see on top there are the solar panels. There's a total of 18 of them. Each of these solar panels is rated at 235 watts. Underneath each panel is a dedicated power inverter so that the solar panel plus the inverter actually makes 240 volts up on the roof. That makes it easier to wire the system into the house. There's not much to see for our solar panels inside the house. This is pretty much it. This is the control box. Now we've got full midday sun and you can see that we've got about uh, 3,240 watts of power that we're generating. It will go a little bit higher, but that's pretty darn close to the maximum right there. And just to the right of that, you see 6,715. That's the maximum number of uh, the total kilowatt hours that we've generated with our system. Now this box has on the back of it a connection, an ethernet connection. That's uh, uh, right about in the middle of the screen right there. Now this can connect to a router, an internet router, and then it will uplink the data to the Enphase website, and you can get the data anywhere you have an internet connection. But unfortunately, we don't have a permanent internet connection at this house, so we can't connect to the Enphase website. The photovoltaic system on the roof is wired to this circuit breaker panel down in my basement. To make the system work, the technicians that installed it had to put in conduit to carry power from the solar panels down the outside of the building all the way over to the main cutoff box which is located right here. Now this main cutoff box is used by the power company in the event that there might be some sort of uh, uh, accidental feedback from the system into the power grid and we wouldn't want that to happen. So uh, there is a actual cutoff switch I would have to undo it right there for you to see that cutoff switch. But there's a cutoff switch in there that the electrical company worker can flip to make sure that no power is accidentally fed back into the system. Of course, right next to that is the power meter. The power meter had to be replaced when we had the system installed, and that keeps track of how much power we're generating. And that's a quick look at the photovoltaic system installed at my home. We installed it about two years ago, and it's been running perfectly ever since.